So if you come into San Francisco, you need a parking space, and finding parking, uh, particularly near the rack space office where, where we are, is a little difficult, <laughs> to say the least. And ParkNow is an app that we're using to find uh, uh, parking spaces near you, and uh, it's funded, or it's owned by BMW, so uh, there's an obvious car tie there. We're gonna find out how they, how they do it and what's happening in the mobile space uh, concerning parking right now. Who are you? Well, Robert, first, thanks for having me. Appreciate the time here. Uh, my name is Rye Sanderson. I'm the city manager of ParkNow, a San Francisco-based app. Yeah. Uh, my experience is obviously in parking. I grew up around parking and parked my way through college. So, you know, 18 on, I was parking cars, and one thing led to another, and now here I am in the technology space with parking. So uh, that's where I'm from, and that's who I am. Very cool. Um, it seems pretty simple, the, the business, you know, you open an app up and you see uh, parking spaces near you, right? Is that basically how it works? That's how it works, but there's a lot to it. I think yeah. the, the idea is to bring that to the consumer, that it's an easy user interface and we're, we're allowing customers to park with ease and convenience. Yeah. Uh, the back end and the back office to that is quite complicated. Obviously, we have a number of parking operators throughout the city of San Francisco who we work with. And again, we're a marketplace, so we provide information to the customer that the operator posts. Now, you, it, it doesn't work with every lot, right? Uh, it, it, so how do you know where the lots are? I guess you open the app up, and, and like there's a, a lot that's in your app that's a block away, and it's $20 uh, for three hours, right? Yeah, so um, we, we just pulled that up. Um, and as, as you know, we can't have every parking lot online, but we're working towards it. So yeah. we, we partner with different operators, primarily in the off-street market, so those that are owned off-street, not associated with on-street parking, um, and work with the, uh, the big corporations here in San Francisco, the big car parking companies. Now, it, a lot of times around rack space, the uh, lots are all closed up, they're full. Can you see that in the app, that the, the, the lot actually has spaces available right now before yes. I come into the city? Exactly, so that's one of the key findings and what we really pride ourselves in is customer intimacy. So providing the customers the, the usability and the transparency about parking. So one of our things, we always guarantee parking. When you purchase parking through ParkNow, it's a guaranteed reservation. When you pull in, you don't have to worry about the lot being full, the lot being closed. You're always gonna have that parking. Oh, so space. you actually buy a spot before you get to the lot. You got it. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So we come from Half Moon Bay, that's usually an hour away. So I would buy my space before I even get into the city and I would know exactly where I'm gonna park today. Yeah, and really we're all about planning and providing the customer an ability to plan their day ahead of schedule. Yeah. So you don't have to worry if you're coming from Half Moon Bay, set a circle in the block for 10, 20, 30 minutes. You know, in congestion, you can say, hey, I'm going right to 600 Harris Center, in your case, uh, 620 Folsom. And it shows the price there for each lot, and, you, and it varies quite a bit. So this, that's one nice thing about having an app like this. You can see uh, where the cheaper lots are n near where you're going, and you might not even know about some of these lots, right? Yeah, so the idea, again, is transparency to provide not just the prices, but what other amenities the service may have. Um, I know one of the big things for me is you don't have a lot of time, so you need to find a place that has car wash as well. So if you come into the city and you're going out for dinner or, or drinks after work, you want a spot where you can wash your car and pick up your wife or pick up your friends, have a nice clean car. So not just price, but also convenient factors like uh, easy charging, like car washing. Um, those are just some of the things. Now that's interesting. If I had a Tesla, and I, I, I noticed at the Fifth Emission Garage, a lot of times the electronic uh, spaces are all, all, all taken. Can I actually reserve a, an electronic space on park now? So you can't reserve it yet. Okay, because so, that would be a cool thing if yeah. you have a Tesla or a Chevy Volt. Like my and best we're, friend. we're working that way. So what we do now is show customers where the parking uh, spots are that have EV chargers, yeah. and we're working towards uh, the availability of those chargers. Right now we work with a lot of valet parking, so almost the majority of the time the valets there are able to switch out your car, and 90% of the time you'll have a, have a parking spot with an EV charger. Got it. Um, how do you uh, uh, how do you get the data the real time data from the parking lots into the app? Yeah, because uh, you don't want to send somebody to a lot that all of a sudden is closed. That that's not a good customer experience, right? Yeah, that's a really good question, and that's what we pride ourselves in when we talk about the back office. 
so we have a bunch of staff on site here in San Francisco that works the marketplace with the operators. And how we do that is through technology. Uh, we have an app-based tablet, which we place in the facility so the valets or the parking operator can update their pricing sheets as well as their occupancy levels. Okay. Um, that information also shows them, hey, I'm expecting uh, Robert tonight at 6 p.m., and I know I'm going to have a spot available for him. Yeah. A lot of the, and let's see the app while we talk about yeah, pricing sure. and stuff like that. Uh, you might just open it up and I'll shoot it. Um, if you're here in the San Francisco Giants game, all the parking goes up in, in price. Do you guarantee the price uh, for, for where I'm going? Exactly. So we're all about guarantee Sh pricing. Go ahead and show me what it looks like, too. Yeah, there you go. And transparency. So our prices are all guaranteed, and your spot is guaranteed. So let's say I'm going to the Giants game. I'm going to go to Soma here, yeah. and that's going to pull up my price listing for Soma. Um, since we have so many garages here, we segment by networks and by regions. Okay. Just bring mine up here. So as we can see, we see the marketplace as a whole. We see uh, the different rates associated with the different garages. And this is all based on uh, the time from right now till three hours from now. Okay. So let's say I want to- If you're going to be here for eight hours or 10 hours, you, you just change that in the app. Yeah, just yeah, change that right up there. Okay. Um, and pull into that as well. Uh, let's say 470 Brandon Street, that's going to give me a price of $15. I also see they have a bike space available is usually free of charge. They have a valet service, wheelchair accessible, and some type of security. Um, so that's just good information to have. Let's say I want to park for a little bit longer. Go up here, enter my, enter my time zones. So I want to park now till, I don't know, what time we're going to be out of here? 4 p.m.? Yep. So I hit 4 p.m. And then I can also find more options. Maybe I want to make sure they have security. Yeah. I'm going to check that box as well. Hit done, and then find that parking spot. So again, this is now updated my pricing, and look at that, rate hasn't changed. Still $15 with that extra service required. Got it. So let's say I wanna go ahead and purchase that spot. That'll give me the rate, yep. as well as the rate if I was to drive in on the street. You can see that as well. Yep. Was it $18 rate that I got for 15? Oh, so you got a discount here. I got a discount in this case. Probably. How many lots give discounts to Park Now customers? So again, it's all based on what the operator wants to offer. Okay. Um, if it's a it's the day where we're going to have low occupancy, I'm willing to give a discount because yeah. I need the revenue. If it's a day where it's a Giants game, maybe I want to charge a premium for a reserved spot out front VIP. Uh, so again, we're a, we're a marketplace and provide different prices that, that the operator themselves put up. Yeah. Um, Anything else we need uh, to know? You, you guys are wholly owned by BMW, so I, I don't need to know who funded you. Um, how many people work, work at Park Now? Yeah, so we have, um, gosh, we're expanding like crazy, so it's tough to keep track of everyone. We have uh, five people based in San Francisco, and then we have a team of three based in Munich. Yeah. Um, now, there's, a, there's apps like this um, for, like, the meters, because San Francisco has these new electronic meters that show uh, availability, right? But you guys don't show that. You show just the, the valeted lots around San Francisco, right? Exactly. So um, obviously, San Francisco is partnered with a, a project funded by the Depart Department of Transportation called SF Park. And that's primarily all those new electronic solar meters you're seeing across mm -hmm. the streets um, with nice credit card readers, which allows customers obviously to not carry a big bag of change around. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, so that's again a partnership with the with the DOT and their project. Yeah, we don't have any on street parking as of right now. Um, you know, we're always looking for new new growth opportunities uh, on the horizon. Yeah, and you're only in San Francisco, um, and you're on Android, iPhone, and web, right? Android, iPhone, and web, kind and of the three primary players. Are you gonna uh, Are you gonna move to other cities? Because uh, you know, San Francisco is great, but. Well, there's a lot of people listening to the show all over the world. San Francisco's great, but again, yeah, you're right. It's a seven by seven square square block, and we're always looking to expand. So we haven't uh, identified which cities are next or which where our timeline lies. Yeah. But we're certainly looking at but, growth. But this is why every time I arrive in a new city, I, I look for apps that are made for that city because each city, like if you go to New York, there's lots of parking apps and there's transit apps and there's uh, all sorts of fun things uh, that city guide kind of apps that are different than the ones that are available here in San Francisco. I've noticed that's started to be a trend, right? Yeah, it seems like it's a real trend. I know uh, one of our partners is 
uh, My City Way, which is through the BMW I Ventures, and they certainly have uh, apps for each individual city. Um, so that's certainly a market we're maybe looking at, not just having a Park Now app, but an individual city app. Yeah. And again, we haven't planned that um, quite yet. Why, why, does BM, why is BMW funding this? Why, you know, is it because they think in 15 years there's going to be a self-driving car and maybe they need uh, this kind of uh, data system built up so they know where the self-driving car should go plug itself in? You know? Sure, sure, that's a great question. Why are we involved? Um, one of the biggest concerns, and we see it even in San Francisco nowadays, is congestion. Um, not just for the customer, but it affects all of us. It affects me at my home, um, the quality of air, and some of those issues around congestion. So if we can cut down on congestion and cut down on unneeded time in the car, that makes me, the consumer, happier, the BMW owner, the Acura owner, the Audi owner, um, happier and easier to travel throughout the city, yeah. making kind of all of our lives a little bit better. All right, cool. Where do we find it? I uh, find it at park-now.com, App Store, iOS. Um, yeah, I found it just by searching Park Now. So thanks for coming in, showing it off, and uh, explaining a little bit more about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll appreciate it. See you in the future. Thanks, thanks. Robert.